Hi everybody, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts. A uh, long time no see. Um, uh, I think I'm going to do a video right now. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that I think is because... <laughs> right, okay, let's, let, let's start off. I've moved my um, craft room from a smaller room into a bigger room. Because if you're anything like me, I've actually... <laughs> who you know crafters I've I did have a room that I crafted in and that's I sort of outgrew it so now I'm in a in a bigger bigger room so that's fine um and I think what I'm going to do is use the other room that I did um have my craft room in to either store like my papers and stuff I don't know but anyway <coughs> now today is Sunday and um um, I'm doggy sitting at the moment now. Um, my doggy, not my doggy, it's my son's doggy. Her name's Luna. She's actually, she did have a collar on that had a bell, like a like a bell. It's got a Mickey Mouse. It's this actually. Look, it's this. Right, and I've had to because I'm filming. Her name, it's got a name on it, and then num both their mem mobile numbers and her name, just in case she gets lost. But the thing is, is when she walks, all you can hear is that. Of course, because I'm filming and I don't want to stop her from walking around, so I've taken it off just for now. Just while I'm filming, I'll put it back on again in a minute. But anyway, yes, where was I? So yes, I'm doggy sitting at the moment. I'm waiting for what time is it now? It's ten back ten past six Sunday evening. I'm waiting for this evening for the new season of called the Midwife. Um, I can't wait for that to start. Um, I haven't been on. Um, I haven't, I'm not doing a face-to-face -face because I look as rough as old boots at the moment and I haven't done a makeup tutorial or I haven't worn any makeup since since New Year's Eve to be fair um, because I've I've been in a really big flare-up sort of like I did a lot since the wedding not a lot on uh, in terms of what you guys probably sort of do on a day-to-day -day basis because I can't do that but um, for me it was a lot, so like my son's wedding and, and all that lot, although I didn't really ha have to do a lot for that, but like obviously the wedding and then the evening and I, I had to leave, everyone else stayed on and I left about eight o'clock in the evening because I just, it, I was just so tired. Then Christmas day we were out and then we come back and then we opened more presents and then Boxing Day we were out again for a meal on Boxing Day, um, so there was sort of that. And then New Year, um, we don't, we went out last year, New Year, and it was pretty boring. But this, and I, well, I am denied about. Well, it wasn't boring. It was. I don't know. It was just. There was a lot of people sort of drinking and, um, which which is fine. It's just that um, we were sort of like you know. I didn't really know anybody that was there, but anyway, this year we did go to the same place, but I did know more of the people that were there so in actual fact it was the best new year i've had in a long time so it was but boy did i pay for it um and i think i've been paying for it ever since so i've got no mojo at the moment as far as crafting goes i'm although i i've done a few bits and bobs and i've got some stuff that i've got to do and stuff i need to do and stuff i want to do um and now that i've just changed my craft rooms over it's all my setups all my lighting and everything's all set up i'm thinking well okay i've got no excuse but to sit down and you know sort of try and make something now i will say to you three times today i've sat down at my desk this desk um to create something and three times i've walked away this is the fourth so instead of sort of like thinking right okay i'm gonna um I know what I'm, I know. What, I've got lots of things that I want to make. It's just, and I'm sure once I get started, I'll be fine. And just, um, I don't know. I think I've had really bad um, sleep issues um, since before Christmas, I think. So I've been taking all sorts of stuff to try and improve that. And I think once I can get that sorted and not feel so tired, then I think my mojo will return. Um, so yes. So I've sat down here again um, to try and craft. I've been watching lots of videos, so I'm getting lots of inspiration and stuff like that. Until I s uh, and there's some some amazing stuff going on. Um, I, I'm really loving watching these uh, loaded pocket envelopes 
um, which is sort of like a move on from the pocket letter. So instead of um, you know filling up these things with nine holes in them, you you create a loaded pocket and fill it up with which is they look some of them I've seen are absolutely fab and making pinwheels and stuff like that so yeah so I've I've quite fancied making one of those and I watched quite a few um sort of um videos um poor old Fiona's not been very well so I haven't spoken much to Fiona because obviously I've been so tired I mean there has been nights when I've not slept at all all night and then, you know, after having not slept all night, I've been awake till about four or five o'clock the next day and then having to be up for seven o'clock for Toby for school. So, yeah, so that's not been sort of very good. But, um, yeah, poor Fiona's had a, a really, really, really bad cold, cough, chest infection. Uh, so she's sort of like not been at work all week. So I haven't really spoken to Fiona much. I have spoken to her a couple of times, but not um, not as much as I know. We normally sort of like... So either every day or every other day, something like that. But yes, so I'm sitting in front of my um, on my on my desk. Oh, shut up! Thinking, what can oh, I make I now? I could, I might even start a pocket letter or create the basis of a pocket letter. I don't know. Um, I'm still suffering from really bad contact dermatitis on my fingers. So I did have nails on over Christmas. Um, and my nails were back, grown back up to here again, but I had to take them all back off again because uh, I think I've come to the conclusion that, um, unfortunately, once you've had contact dermatitis on your fingers, you can't, it's an allergic reaction to the acrylic. You can't have it again, even if they're overlays. So, yeah, so I'm keeping that off at the moment, but I can't, I've got to be very careful about what I use and, um, like, temp, like crafting-wise, because it... Uh, it makes them split and flare up. So, um, so I've got a little haul um, that I've got from Hot Felt Creations. Oh, excuse me. I've just eaten Tennessee chicken. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I haven't stopped buying, even though I uh, haven't done a lot of filming. As far as crafts go, anyway. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is the new Heartfelt Creations Wild Wood Cottage Collection. Okay, um, and this, um, I got this from Create and Craft. It was sold at a bundle, in a bundle I should say. So I got the papers and all the stamps and the die cuts. So, and I haven't actually played with it yet. I've looked at it, but um, I just wanted to sort of show you. I love these little fairies. They're so cute. So you've got some cut parts here. And they're all double sided. So this side, um, you get two sheets of each different different one. So on this side it's like lots of the little fairies. And then on this side, this one is um, the same sheet. And then this is a different one. So, so, so pretty. And that's on this side, it's like a wall. Really lovely. Lovely. Let's see if I can do it this way so you can see. There we go. So this one's a bit like um, looking through the slats of a window, you know, like a Venetian window. So the paper's absolutely stunning. Wild wood cottage collection. Um, more cutter parts, little um, you know tags. This heartfelt creation paper is brilliant for uh, mini albums. Now we've got there, but how cute is that? So nice. And there's some tags. Birdies. Some more of the fairies. And then look, look, 
get this out. Oh, there is in the garden. How cute. Some six by six pages, so we cut them down more six by six. Lovely. Beautiful. I see the thing with double sided paper, you need to buy two packs in order to be able to fully use, I think, uh, you know, all the you know, because if you cut use this, you can't use sort of this side. But this side is lovely, it's a bit like a crown. Mm. So nice. I've only got a page full of uh, tags and sentiments, um, products, fairy stamps. So there we go, so that's the paper. Hot for equations paper. And then we've got, uh, no, right, let, me, let me just pair these up. Right, okay, so that's those. That's those. That's those. Okay, so uh, with it I got um, the stamps from the wood. Wild Wood Cottage Darlings collection and I got the dies and the matching stamps so that's the little these are the um the cling stamps and they're the the, the fairies that's so cute and they're quite substantial um can't take they're quite substantial um it's because it's stuck down. Uh, let me find stamps. Yeah, you know, so they're a good size stamp. Sorry, the glare. Good size stamp. Um, and then also in the set comes the matching die cuts that go with the. Um, those little fairies. So there's all the the dies to cut up the fairies. Okay. So you get so there's that. Then there's the um, wildwood florals. Okay. So you get the stamp set. Sorry for the glare and the stamps. It's my ring light. Okay, that would be nice. You get the uh, Wildwood Cottage um, die, and then also you get the matching stamps that will cut out the windows and the door. And that. I'm trying to point it down so you can see. Okay, so you get those. Really nice. I haven't played with any of these yet, I haven't even opened them. Then you get the Wild Wood Cottage Accents Stamps and Die Set. So it's got like a, the path, the fountain, the fence, the gate, the wheelbarrow, and the flowers. So yeah. And then exclusively from, if you bought them on the Create and Craft channel, you also got the Wildwood Bird Haven. And this this includes um, stamps and dies. So what you get, and this you can't buy this anywhere else. This was made exclusively for um, Crate and Craft. Um, you get, oops, the dies and the matching stamps. Okay, the dies and the matching stamps, and it's that one. So it's like a bird house with a bird and flowers, a flower sort of type spray. And so you get that and matching dies to goes with that. And this was exclusive from um Crate and Craft. It's not um 
available anywhere else, which is what Crate and Craft said. Whether or not you can, I don't know, but Crate and Craft did say it was exclusive to them and then it wasn't sold anywhere else. So that was my little heartfelt creations haul. Um, I did also buy, I have also bought the, uh, the new We Are Memory Keepers, um, <coughs> you know, the pocket fuse thing, but I'm still waiting for that to come. I've, the pockets have come and some of the um, attachments have come, but not, not the actual, uh, and I, I didn't realise when I ordered it, because it was out of stock in a, in a few places, I didn't realise when I finally found somewhere that had it, that the, the, the plugs I found was the one with the two pins, which is not the, a normal UK plug. But I did e email them and they said, with an adapter, which I've got, it will work over here, so that's fine, so as long as it's, otherwise I don't particularly, because the price range for it was quite, you know, some places were 24, some were over £30, um, but I, um, I think I paid 27 I think. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm waiting for that to arrive. Um, yeah, so I think really, I have bought other bits and bobs. Uh, nothing major. I bought some of these um, funny little, uh, you know, like crystally berries in pink. And then I ordered. I thought this is this is quite. Um, they look quite sugary berries, but they're, they're um, quite green, but they're more of a sagey sort of green. So, but I'm not really a green person, but I will use them. I will use them. So, yeah, so I bought them. Um, apart from that, those, that's my, I think, my major buys that I bought um, so far. So I suppose what I need to do, really, is to start playing, really. So I'll end this video here and then I will try and do another video um, tonight where I will uh, uh, actually make something. So thanks for watching my little haul and my little chit chat. It's just wanted to touch base with, base with you guys, say thank you for still for hanging out with me and hanging in there. And I've had lots of messages saying, oh, you know, you miss me and all this lot. That's really, really nice. And thank you so much. I know there's so much going on YouTube at the moment and I'm not even going to get into that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just, all I want to do is craft. Okay, so let's get crafting. Um, and that's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. So anyway, so bye for now and I will see you again soon.